this is everything that Justinian does when he is the leader of a rally and this is everything that Justinian does when he is fighting in the open field and I feel like I'm taking crazy pills okay because a lot of people have been asking me why I didn't talk about Justinian in my cavalry guide for free to play and new players I'm gonna say that again why didn't I talk about Justinian in my cavalry guide for free to play and new players so today we're going to talk about justinian as it relates to open field fighting and i'm going to make the case that most of you watching should probably be using minamoto instead but first what's going on guys cheers now real quick i just want to remind you guys i'm still doing a giveaway for the month of august the top link in the description i'm giving away a hundred dollars to one lucky subscriber all you have to do is follow me on social media that is literally it there's no fine print just click the link down below and give it a shot now I think the reason people are overthinking what Justinian is doing is because his active skill is an absolute unit okay this is just a block of text it looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card that came out in the year 2023 but literally everything after this first line is pointless if you're in the open field okay everything down here is all about leading a rally attack which in the open field you will not be doing so all that this active skill is doing is hitting like a truck it deals 2500 damage factor that's it okay that's it that's all you have to know about his active skill in the open field so we can sum up everything that justinian does right here okay he has 2500 damage factor 15 percent cavalry attack 30 percent defense 20 percent health for a total of 65 percent cavalry stats he gets five percent cav damage and 15 percent cav march speed outside of your lines territory and he gets this bonus damage depending on how many units you are swarming with how often it pops etc and there's no debuff okay there's also no aoe here that's that's literally one of the biggest things about him there's no debuff there's no aoe so already he's not looking great yes he's tanky yes he hits like a truck and yes he's decently fast in enemy territory but that's it now we can compare him to Minamoto okay Minamoto's damage factor is interesting because when he's expertise it deals 1400 damage factor but three out of four skill cycles he's on average he's going to deal an extra 1200 damage factor assuming you're staying attached to that target for two seconds which probably you are okay so on average this is 2300 damage factor with his relic he gets 50 percent attack and 30 percent defense he gets zero health for a grand total of 80 percent bonus cavalry stats okay so he has a similar damage factor on average okay I'm willing to admit this is on average you could get super unlucky but we're gonna get into some results later so just stay tuned for that slightly lower on average damage factor but slightly higher total stats okay obviously Minamoto is going to pack a little bit more of a of a punch here with whoever he's paired with but he's not as tanky obviously not making that claim he doesn't get cab damage he does get 10 percent March speed and there's no conditions to this okay so you get 10 percent all the time your territory enemy territory doesn't matter okay he has no bonus damage but he has a really powerful debuff on his fourth skill 10 percent chance to increase the damage taken by the target by 30 percent for three seconds it has a five second cooldown okay so we see something on minamoto that we don't see on justinian justinian has plenty of different ways that he can deal signal target damage but this debuff is unique to minamoto and this scales with the number of targets that are hitting the enemy that you've debuffed okay does that sound familiar yes swarming targets is great when you have a minamoto around because this is going to cause all of your armies to deal 30 percent more damage for three seconds that's really good this is a really powerful debuff okay so yes justinian does deal some bonus damage when his fourth skill procs and it does proc more often than the debuff on minamoto but with the five second cooldown I would say per skill cycle even though it's three times more likely to occur than the debuff on Minamoto it's still only going to pop at most twice per skill cycle so then the question becomes okay well which one of these is better I'm glad you asked because I ran both of these combinations through the rock battle simulator both of which went up against a Guan Yu both armies had 250,000 troop capacity both armies had Nevsky as the primary with the full skill tree both armies had the full best in slot gear no talents no uh, iconic crystals nothing like that both armies also had 17 percent bonus attack 40 percent all damage because that's what you get from being in the lost kingdom 10 percent health rune and five percent skill damage city skin and we can run through the results here okay Nevsky with Justinian versus Guan Yu and CPO now 
before you comment omniarch this simulator doesn't simulate aoe that doesn't matter actually for this test because we are testing single target damage justinian doesn't have aoe and minamoto doesn't have aoe the only thing that justinian and minamoto can do is single target damage so i think this is actually a pretty accurate test and here we could see the nevsky justinian loses on this report the guanyu cpo loses on this report the Nevsky Justinian loses here and here and here and here and here the Guan Yu actually loses here the Nevsky Justinian loses here the Nevsky Justinian loses here the Nevsky Ju you get the point okay now under the same conditions we can test the Nevsky Minamoto which wins here and it wins here and it loses here and it wins here and it wins here and it loses here and it loses again wins 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 okay so let's take a look at that data i pulled all that data into a spreadsheet and i took the averages for the severely wounded units on both sides and the units remaining for both sides so the amount of sev wounds for the nevsky justinian on average was 30,800, and the amount of units remaining was 5,700. the amount of sev wounds for the guan cpo was 26,900, and the amount of units remaining on average was 28,100. so the nevsky justinian had 12 and a half percent more severely wounded units than the guan Yu cpo and the amount of units remaining was like 400 percent less okay it's 5,000 to 28,000. that's that's a pretty big difference they won twice and lost eight times now we can compare that data to the nevsky minamoto data and on average the nevsky minamoto had 27,300 severely wounded units and it had 26,100 units remaining the guan cpo had on average 30,000 units severely wounded and 11,700 units remaining so that means that on average the nevsky minamoto had 10 percent less severely wounded units than the guan yu cpo and 55 percent more units remaining because we're talking about 26,000 compared to 11,700. so the nevsky minamoto won seven times and lost three times and if we compare all the data next to each other you could see on average the nevsky justinian had about 3,000 more severely wounded units and had about 21,000 fewer units remaining and the guan cpo had about 3,000 more severely wounded units when going up against the minamoto and had about 17,000 more units remaining when going up against the justinian so according to this data if you swap out your justinian secondary for a minamoto secondary you will have about 13 percent fewer severely wounded units you'll have about 78 percent more units remaining the enemy will have about 10 and a half percent more severely wounded units and will have over a hundred percent fewer units remaining so that means it's cut in more than half okay so even if you want to make the argument that the simulator is not that accurate which guys these are very vanilla command like it's these are the some of the easiest commanders to calculate for open field fighting okay it's literally just math even if you make the argument that the simulator is not accurate even if it's off by 10 percent and let's say it's overvaluing the damage on Minamoto or something like that it would have to be off by over 10 percent for them to even be equivalent in this scenario when it comes to severely wounded units so I think the data is pretty clear here okay and I know a lot of cavalry mains are huffing the copium and saying that Justinian is broken but look I'm with you for rallies brother I think Justinian rallies are popping off but let's just be honest in the open field he's just a vanilla damage dealer okay that's literally all that he does he, they, there's nothing special about that I'm I'm sorry now look yes he's tanky and am I saying that you shouldn't invest in him I mean guys come on like you've ha you have to at least be running three cavalry armies to even consider running a justinian and you also have to be willing to recognize that raw damage vanilla damage is the easiest thing to power creep out of the game it happens in every single commander cycle we've seen this i mean come on again am i taking crazy pills here guys like vanilla damage factor when the game came out was a thousand for a legendary commander right like we're, we remember that right so if you're investing in justinian purely for open field fighting just understand that unless the developers change how they're doing power creep for commanders moving forward justinian is likely going to be power crept out of the game he's not doing any debuffs he's not doing any aoe and historically those have been the most valuable things for open field fighting which is why when we look at raw damage you can at least look at minamoto and say well you know what his raw damage is a little bit less than justinian and yeah he's maybe not as tanky but the debuff he provides here is insane and you can save 690 legendary commander sculptures now 
look I know that free to play players can't get their hands on Minamoto and they can technically get their hands on Justinian but oh boy if you are investing in Justinian as a free to play player good luck to you and look if you just want to build a pure cavalry account that's fine do it that that makes sense that's that make the do your thing man do your thing but there's just no world where I'm gonna sit here and tell free to play players and new players that Justinian is someone that they should be considering investing in for open field fighting right it's just it's just not there I would rather free to play players and new players focus on two good cavalry marches two good archer marches one good infantry march or something like that full of commanders that will all age well we already know on day one that for open field fighting Justinian is unlikely I'm not saying impossible unlikely to age well the simulation data shows it and even if it's off by a large margin of error it's still they're basically they would perform very similar in the open field and I would argue that I would rather have this fourth skill debuff on Minamoto because the other armies that I'm bringing to the field are hitting like a truck during that three seconds so yes if your Zhang Yu is sitting there with no friends to play with then sure you can throw Justinian behind him and they're going to machine gun out a massive damage factor and this is going to add some tankiness to your Zhang Yu and your Zhang Yu is going to keep doing that AoE defense debuff which he's really known for and everybody loves okay that's totally fine but most of you probably should not be doing that and there's other commanders that you could pair with your Zhang Yu that don't cost you 611 legendary commander sculptures or are more versatile and can be used in other areas like Honda Tadakatsu like Mehmed and maybe they won't pack as big of a punch but you'll save guys 609 like I'm like I feel like I'm going crazy I feel like I'm going crazy anyway guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel and kind of helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below your thoughts on Justinian if you're investing in him I ain't judging you okay there are players that will use him in the open field and they will pop off but just know what you're getting yourself into okay it's like investing in Tarek for open field fighting except he actually has a good debuff and 15 percent bonus damage instead of five and it's not conditional about being you get the point while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace